Welcome artists. Today we are going to draw one of our favorite rodents that you are learning about in class, the beaver. Here is what the final product will look like. So I'll keep him right where you can see him as I draw along step by step. The beaver is, here he is, look at him. Isn't he cute? The beaver builds his house above the water and then he has sections underwater to keep him dry. He has underground tunnels that he digs, great swimmer with webbed feet, and he has these big teeth to be able to gnaw on to build his home. So today we are going to draw our friend, the beaver, okay? So let's begin. I like to start with a pencil, but I'm going to use the Sharpie so you can see it on camera. You're going to draw a circle for his head. So here is the circle, all right? I'm going to draw his ears in, but if you can't do that, just draw the circle and then draw two little ears, all right? And then we're going to make his arms come out. Now you can stop this video at any point that you'd like in order to do it at your own pace. So his arms come out like this, and then this arm is gonna come out. This is in front of him, so his little arm overlaps in front of his belly, and this one is on the side of his belly. So we're just gonna draw his belly and then his fingers will come over it. And you can build in his little long claws if you'd like. And then his bottom is just a round, round little circle there. His feet are ovals. And you can always add your detail in if you look See the detail on his foot here? It's, you know, got long claws with webbed feet. So if you want to add detail to yours, you can build your claws with this little webbing. Okay. I didn't do that on my original. And he has webbing on his little hands here too. All right. And then you can draw his big flat tail. And now you can add the detail, friends. You could draw his eyeballs. You can make it a girl or a boy any way you want. This one's looking straight at you. Maybe I'll make this one looking up. And I always like to keep a little white in the eyeballs when I draw eyeballs like that. Then he's got big nose and he's got big cheeks. And then here are his big teeth. I gave him some hair. You can give him some whiskers if you'd like. And then the tail. I just used some lines for the texture of his tail. And then back like this. So then there's the drawing of my beaver. What you can do is you can color him in like I've done with my original and create a background. You're learning about the beaver in class, so why don't you create some tunnels, some water, things that would be in a beaver's environment. Maybe put some sticks in his arm like this beaver here, he's got the big stick he's gnawing on. So have fun, make your beaver in a background that you like. And you know what? Why don't you name your beaver? I named mine Boris after the story, Boris the Beaver. Have fun friends, enjoy the beaver.